Today we're seeing if we could use conductive filament to light up LEDs in our 3D prints. I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Make Your Build It and this is the third part in our series on adding LEDs to our 3D prints. So now may be the perfect time to subscribe. Now let's see if we could get this 3D printed great worm to light up using conductive filament. We're going to use this uh, moline filament, and as you can see, it's only 200 grams or 0.2 kilograms of filament. And we're going to actually try to do it on our Bamboo Labs A1 using the AMS. Even though this is a small spool of filament, we should be able to use it on our AMS because the diameter of the spool should fit perfectly. I designed this little pattern that's supposed to be representative of a circuit board. I don't know what I was thinking, but basically I'm going to make two of the channels slightly longer so they could actually connect to the LED and to the power supply. Now let's get this printed with our conductive filament and some regular PLA. So we're going to see if this is conductive. We printed two strips of the conductive filament. We're going to use these quick connects, a nine volt battery, and we're going to use this LED and see if we can power it up. So first we're connecting our quick connects to the circuit we 3D printed. Okay, so I broke the connector. I don't know what I was thinking, making that little intricate pattern, but let's see if it works. I mean, at this point, it's probably no different than if I just took some filament and ran it to see if I could do it, but hey. It's a test and sometimes tests have points. So we're just gonna connect this into two quick connects. Then we're going to connect our LED. Now we're using a blue LED. We're gonna connect the blue wire and the black wire. Then we're gonna connect the red wire and block wire oh there there we go look at that we got our blue led to light up using filament so this is the conductive filament and it's completing the circuit tested a small circuit of conductive pla and i got the led to light up with two channels of conductive pla feeling pretty smart i decided i was going to scale up because you know bigger is always better and more complicated great plan right I printed this model of a giant purple worm, or if you're into Dune, you may know it as a great worm. Either way, it's big and scary, and I thought, hey, what if I made it light up from its mouth? Because what's more terrifying than a giant glowing worm? I designed the worm to have two channels of conductive filament running through it. The idea, power an LED inside the mouth and make it glow. Like it's about to devour some adventurers or some Arrakis spice harvesters. But before we hook it up, I need to check one thing. Is this 3D printed poop conductive? Every Bamboo Labs that's printing multicolor starts with a little gift, the poop. And today these lovely little blobs of conductive filament are part of our test. So let's pick two nice little blobs of poop. So we got them right here. We're going to hook up our LED, literally just plunging it into the poop. Now let's hook up our battery and see if this LED will light up. There we go, it's sort of faint, but you can see it lighting up. Let me see if I could just hook this up and get the lights turned off for you guys. It's conductive, the poop is live. Well, not really, but it's doing what it's supposed to do and conducting the power from the battery into the LED. That means the filament has potential to light up this giant worm. Even though I printed this as a solid piece, when the filament was printing, it left conductive material throughout the layers of the worm itself. Let's see how this is gonna handle it. Is it gonna disperse the conductiveness or will it be focused on these two little channels I created here? Let's clean this up and see what happens. So I tried for about 30 minutes to get this to work. I used various different LEDs, different power sources, different types of wires. So if I put the LED close to where the power source was coming into the conductive filament, I was able to get the LED to light up. 
So we sort of got the worm to light up, but not really. Even when I tried putting everything together, there just wasn't enough conductiveness between these pathways back here and the actual um, front where we're connecting the LED. Now, I'm not really sure if it has to do with, like I said, these layer lines when it was um, printing and you know swapping out materials. Because as we can see, even though these are supposed to be solid, we did get some of the conductive PLA in the, the body of the worm, not just the pathways. So it'd be much easier to bore a channel into the worm and run the LED into the uh, channel itself like we did with this eyeball from the previous video. So does the filament conduct? Yes. Is it perfect? No. Now, I would think if you were just trying to print, you know, some uh, 3D printed pathways, it would work really well. But when I used it in the AMS with mixed materials, it, it, didn't, it just didn't provide enough conductiveness through this worm in order to light it in the mouth. Maybe if we ran the pathway a different way from below and it was shorter, maybe it would work. But in the scenario we built here, it didn't work, but it did work when we built our mini circuit and we actually saw the poop was conductive on its own. Sometimes in the failure, there is a lot of learning like we did here about the conductive PLA. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. And remember, this is still a pretty cool miniature that we're still gonna paint. We're gonna remove these conductive filaments, but at the end of the day, we still built a pretty cool miniature by Loot Studios.